All right, guys, we're back. We've got the finals match already lit up. We're going to change the timer real quick. This will be Joe Chott versus Alex Pressig. You've seen them both round one and round two. Yeah. Now they meet here in the finals. It will be a quick match, I can assure you, as both of these players are playing some pretty high, strong aggro decks. We'll see Joe lead off with a warden in the first tree. Alex leading off Temple of Epiphany. Tapped, he will draw for his turn. Yeah, I imagine if he's got a way to kill it, he will. Yeah, I have to imagine this will eat a wild slash if possible. Mm, boom. Boom. Gotcha. Goodbye. Warner the first tree, too dangerous to leave alive in most scenarios. I agree. That's I think, good. I think if you got a way to get rid of it right away, you should. Definitely. Uh, you don't want to be dealing with it when it becomes a 3-3. And anything after that. Yeah. It is pretty miserable, especially for aggro matchups. Definitely. It's getting trample, lifelink, and then just all the f plus five, plus five. Just a just a yeah, ton of no. pump. Here's here's another pretty quality card in Alex's side, though. He gets to play a... Uh, what was Soul, Soul Fire, Fire Grandmaster. Grandmaster. Yeah, that's, that's a card I enjoy. So lifelink is mm -hmm. getting relevant in this matchup. Both players are pretty aware of that. Alex up to 22. Yeah, Alex Thanks gains so two far. off that Wild Slash, now having lifelink. And this Soulfire is pretty much a brick wall against anything yeah. Joe offers up. So, Joe, we can see with a Siege Rhino in hand, looks like he's got another Warden of the first tree. I, he's going to go ahead and fetch. Yeah, I imagine that Warden is on the way. An Inoffensa here would be pretty decent if he has a turn three mm -hmm. one just to snap off. Yeah, that, yeah. I think that's your three drop every time. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I mean, unless you're like Abzan charming for something, but as the Abzan aggro deck, I think you want to be playing Anafenza. Very, very true. Yeah. So Joe announcing some sort of removal to deal with that soul fire. Gonna ultimate be an ultimate price. price. Follow up is another warden. So oh, we'll drop yeah. to seventeen there. Yeah. Both players going toe to toe though here. Mm hmm Just answering each other's stuff. Alex now with a rabble at the ready, though. Not far away from having Valor Stance back up. Although I imagine this Valor Stance will be safe for something like a Inoffensa Siege Rhino. I like that this Goblin token is going to get in for damage because Joe can't block with the Warren. Uh, <laughs> like, he, like, you're he not going to trade you. He, I know, you're just not. It's such a bad block in that scenario. I agree. It's so funny. I wouldn't be blocking. I guess it. I don't know why it tickles me so much. But I guess it's probably because it's happening on turn three, and like we're still trying to constitute whether or not we're blocking with one ones, and like <laughs> this war needs to transform. And yeah, well, yeah, no, there's no way. And this will be a sieging tins, I assume. So uh, Joel dropped a fifteen at the cast, gain three from the draining gain. Drop Alex uh, to nineteen. Not bad for four mana. Um, is that card good though? Is the question four five for four? Uh, I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, in this, at the moment, it's merely a card for card. Yep. Four mana that lightning helixes. I imagine yeah. Alex will just Valora stance it. Uh, still pretty, still pretty still good pretty though. Still pretty good. So, uh, Alex is gonna go to eighteen. Interesting. And probably he's gonna find a blue. I imagine we're going to fire off this stance and just. Get crazy with some rabbles. Yeah, for sure. Joe, again, probably not willing to block anything with that warden. So you might as well send them all in. Although on the crackback, this warden could get pretty nasty. Oh, uh, it could get pretty big. It can at least level up once. Ooh, so oh, okay. We've got a... Dang, oh, man. now we're really getting dirty. Jeez, all the stuff. So, so now this warden is definitely in a position here where he could possibly save some damage. For yeah, Joe, I, but I still don't think he is. Oh, Joe is. Uh, Labelins are coming, baby. I think Joe's more than happy to just. That's eight. Take this damage. Yeah, I don't, down to ten. Ouch, though. You got a bio blight. Uh, <laughs> Show me so. some removal. I don't think so. Is Joe down to one card in hand. Uh, no. no, he's got, okay. He's got at least. So he's got three. One being a downfall. I believe he's got a. Can't even see. Man, Alex, with just a quick start from this Jeskai aggro deck. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's how you win. Yeah. That's how You're he beats kidding. this deck, for sure. I think, ideally, he would have liked to throw some of that burn at Joe's face. Yeah. But, again, that's why Warden's good. Just demands an answer. So, I imagine we'll see a removal of some sort, if not the downfall. Mm -hmm. Then something else that can deal with a Rabble Master. 
Joe, unfortunately, not running your typical Drown in Sorrows. Yeah, BioBlight uh, package. It's interesting, yeah. isn't it? Uh, he might have some BioBlights, but we haven't seen really anything else. I mean, the aggro deck, he also has creatures that are susceptible to Drown in Sorrow, so... Very true. Sort it of. makes sense, but at the same time, it's now awkward staring down this board on Alex's side. So, Joe, going to apply the tokens here to the Warden. It is yep. now a 3-3. Three, three. It's just, yep, straight up 3-3. Three, three. Pretty soon it will become a 4-4 four, four with Lifelink and Trample. I believe so. That's how that works. Yeah. Alex doesn't oh, care, though. Geez. Sending in the team. Whoops. Bioblight is not available. A singleton uh, Valora stance, though. Valora stance can't target not a gonna master. Do, not going to do much. Not 100% sure. I uh, guess the he, best we can do is block, make our guy indestructible. Yeah. is probably the, the play there. Yeah. I mean, uh, he has to or he's dead. And then at least he gets to keep the warden. I mean that's that's it. That's I mean that one the the one unblocked rabble master just goes just to town him anyway. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Fa we said it was going to be fast. That was fast. It was uh, pretty quick. It was six minutes. <laughs> yeah. I mean we. To be fair, we kind of uh, went over time. They were ready to go while they, we were talking. But they were. It's not like it's not like they're worried about going to time here. So. All right. So Mr. Press is going to pick up game I think, one. I think that's fair. And let's hit those sideboards up. I don't know. We haven't got to talk about Alex's. Oh, no, we did. We've yeah. covered both these guys Joe's already. been wow. on stream three times now. So he has. Do he, I even he, have to go through this? I don't even think... We, uh, well, we <laughs> I'm, should... I'm going We should it's for fine. the newer viewers. Of course. All right, so you got you got Joe Chot. Why don't you knock him out of the park Fire first? it off. Yeah, right. his is easy. We don't have to talk much about that. I don't think so. Not many options here. So he's got two Duress, one Thoughtseize, two Glare of Heresy, three Drown in Sorrow, two Merciless Executioner, one Soren Solemn Visitor, two Wingmate Rock, and two Elspeth Sons Champion. What are you bringing in? Snap them off. I know I know what you want. Alright. I like Drown and Sorrow now. Yep. Uh, I think you can... Yeah. I, I think... <laughs> the, he just lost because of Rabble Master and all yeah. tokens. Bring in Drown and Sorrow. Sure. Even if it kills your own Warden. I think it's better than losing the game. Yep. Uh, I also like Soren. Okay. Uh, it provides lifelink or another another blocker if we mm -hmm. if we get to that point. And in that same vein, I guess wingmate rocks maybe a little slow, but again, can also provide lifelink. Can brick wall most of Alex's creatures. Yep. Um, pretty good against things like Manus Rider. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm slapping off the glares, man. I'm bringing those suckers in. How many we got? We got two. We got two glares. Bring them in. So glares can hit soulfires. Seekers, Manus riders, I imagine. Seekers. Manus Riders. Um, if our opponent's playing Chain of the Rocks, possibly we can hit that, or Banishing Light. Yeah, I don't... I don't think so. No? But I, I think the creature base is yeah is good okay. enough to bring in Glare, so yeah, I bring those in too. Sweet. Uh, that one-off Thoughtseize, I don't know if... Again, we don't know if Joe has like main deck Thoughtseizes. Right. I don't know if you want to bring in a full play set of Thoughtseizes. Uh, dealing yourself a lot of damage. Yeah, against that much burn, it's risky. Yeah, like, it's fine if you can just gain the life back, but if you're just dead on board after thought seizing to Alex's burn and massive tokens, it's sure. Yeah, it's not great. Uh, and duress, I don't. Uh, no, no, just leave. I want to be proactive in this match. Okay. I want to make sure I can attack the board. And maybe bring it in game three if if we win this one and get on, on the draw next game. Yeah, that's yeah. true. I could be okay but with yeah, that. Yeah, I, th I think you're right. I don't think we need to rest for game two when we're on the play. Well, let's talk about uh, Mr. Pressig's sideboard here in the Jess Gaiagra. We've got one Chandra Pyromancer, two Sark and the Dragon Speakers, one Treasure Cruise, two Bramaz, King of Oreskos, three Disdainful Strokes, one Erase, one Glare of Heresy, one Abzan Advantage, one Valor Stance, one Arc Lightning, and one Wingmate Rock. A lot of one ofs. A lot of one ofs, baby. Man. I'm probably bringing in the disdainful strokes. I think so. I think I'm probably most, bringing in the, the most glares? efficient answer to siege rhino. Right, seems good. And then I'm, I might even bring in the Chandra here, as as we were talking to Norm earlier. Chandra, great card against the Abzan decks. Yeah. I mean, possibility for it to eat a hero's downfall. Great. All right, but yeah, let's let's get some advantage off of it first. Do you like Bramaz here? Um, not really. Yeah. No, I think Abzan's got too much stuff to just deal with it. Yeah. The 3-4, uh, the 4 butt makes it pretty good against a lot of their removal, though. Yeah, but, like, it gets stanced. 
it gets ultimate price. Ultimate price. Yeah. It gets downfall. For it sure. Gets, uh, I mean, yeah. There's like uh, honestly, if Brimaz like is unanswered, I think it's good in this matchup. Okay. I just think as if I'm Alex and I see that Joe has like communicated that he's playing Abzan. Yes. Uh, and probably more of an Abzan aggro deck with those wardens, etc. So mm-hmm. like, it's very plausible that he has like. Just all the typical removal and sure. bioblight it here is downfall and yeah I just don't think it's worth it yep yeah, okay yeah. I think that's right by the way thank you for the follow there halfway through couldn't catch the name real quick because I was staring at a list of uh, <laughs> cyborg cards. cyborg cards but we definitely appreciate the follows guys and bunch of one ofs for joining us tonight for FNM here at Nerd Rage Gaming Live thank you so much if you guys haven't followed the channel make sure you do so you can stay up to date on everything that we stream here whether it be f and an SCG event, funny in-house things that we occasionally do. <laughs> amusing. Amusing, in-house. yeah, amusing in-house stunts. They're always good. And ridiculous tangents that people go off on. We have fun. Yeah, yep. There's a lot of fun that happens here. <laughs> Somebody said that we should do a Shop Life uh, broadcast. I can't remember the name of the uh, YouTube channel that they said uh, they should, but or who does it also, but they recommended. They're like, you guys should do a Shop Life broadcast. And, like, mm-hmm. I guess that's essentially where we get somebody to follow us around with a camcorder, mm-hmm. like, around the shop, and they, like, record <laughs> what we do. Of course. I will tell you, my day-to-day here, incredibly boring. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of PC work. Not uh, as glorious as it looks. I mean, it's fun yeah. when people come in, but that doesn't happen until, like, close to six hours after I get here. Right. You know, well, not, I guess not that late, but... It's kind of like a, an indie film. Yeah, just, very much just, so. It'd you, just be you me. doing mundane work behind yeah. a desk. They're like refilling our printer and changing well, ink. Yeah. and <laughs> That's it. While some mellow indie band is, is just, just playing providing a soundtrack to your to your mundane life. So yeah. it looks like Joe Chott's going to take a mulligan here as we move to game two. Alex Bresick happy with his hand. Man, that Jeskai deck is so fast. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Just brutal. It's why it's viable. Just beat them before they get to do anything. Yep. I'm a fan of that. I think it's a good strat right I now, enjoy, too. I enjoy that strategy. You I gotta believe take they call it, of it. I believe it's called uh, Agro. 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 Is that... Is that... Am I saying Ca- that right? I think you're saying it right. Careful. Okay. You pronounce things on here. Twitch will let you know. Apparently, yeah. we, were oh, pronouncing, I know. <laughs> apparently we were pronouncing boggles wrong. Boggled? Boggles, boggles, like slippery boggles. Yeah, boggle. Right, that's Is what that, we said. That's but, wrong. But that they said we were wrong. Hmm. So I started saying bugel, <laughs> bugel, also bagel, bogel. It's bogel. Oh, bogel. Slippery yeah. bogels. That's no. That that is how. You Is say that it. how you say it? I don't know. Bugel. I guess. Buget. We can call it bugels. Bugels. Let's yeah. call it bagel. I, I. That's what slippery I'm bagels. Sure. Slippery bagels. The worst. Be like, oh, I hate those slippery bagel matchups. Yep. Speaking of slippery bagels, Rock Shop a death dealer. dealer. Jeez. Bye. Yeah, Wild Slash it. Good. Yeah, that's the start. Get that baby out of there. As soon as possible, yep. Every single creature, if you can kill it, do it. I was like, do I do I lightning bolt your putrid leech? Yeah, you do lightning bolt you, my putrid you leech. Do. Okay, lightning bolt. Yep, you got it. So again, these early starts are just removing the early threats. Yep. I imagine if Joe has a way to kill this Soulfire, he will do it. Man, this is really spot on to last game, too. Yeah. Alex's plan of attack not changing. Yeah, I believe the only difference uh, being Warden is a Rakshasa. Mm -hmm. I mean, the uh, end result is the same. We're on turn four, though, so here comes Dr. Siege. Wow. That's... He'll make an appearance early. I, right on time. I mean, <laughs> Siege Rhino, doing work. Oh, is this usually when he comes out? Yep. Usually. Vicious one. Thank you for the follow, bud. I appreciate it. Uh, it's Vic Oneus. Oh, Vic Oneus? God, dude, That's... I'm pronouncing everything wrong. I got Vic... Boggles. I got Vic Oneus. I am right. Vic Oneus. And this guy, yeah. too, too Derp. Too Derp for Furu. you. Too Derp for you. <laughs> for you. He's French? Four, oh no, that's the number oh. four. I'm sorry. Oh wait, what? So his name is Two Derp. Yeah. For you, Two Derp. I see for what you. you're doing there. I like it. I'm on board. Uh, he just Joe just passing the turn after uh, Siegington. I mean, that's yeah. That's what you do after Alex you drop got a the Rhino. Valor stance here. Uh, again, if he's got it, he's going to remove this Rhino. It'd be nice if it was some sort of burn. 
Ooh, glare, her glare her heresy will do it. Exile that bad boy. Interesting point of note. That glare has lifelink now. That's uh, true. Doesn't matter. Do we gain but any it, life? But it, it does. All I know is that that, that guy is gone, and uh, he will not be coming back. Yep, Soulfire getting in there. Get out of here, Desiger. Let's, let's do a little life gain and a little life drain on your side. I like the attacks tonight. We saw aggressive attacks with... Uh, with oh, Elvish yeah. Mystic from Norman Cohen, now we're seeing aggressive attacks with Soulfire Grandmaster. Oh from yeah! The Classic, if you've if you've got if the if the road if is the clear, the runway is oh. clear. We are sending in Soulfires <laughs> for sure. <laughs> we'll see Mr. Chot here. I tap some land. Mark Shasta. God, this card's good. Ah, Mr. Kitty. I love this card. Yeah, Andy's. A, what is his creature type? Uh, he's a cat demon. Is is that his creature yeah. type? Yeah. Get out of here! Yeah. God, that's an awesome. That is amazing. Blank you? Do we have a blank here? Don't. He's got regeneration man up. He certainly does. Ooh, making him spend it, though. I mean, to be fair, Joe could choose to regen it, and then mm -hmm. it's tapped. He could also just choose to grow it, and then he's fine. I like this, because so if Joe regens this thing, he's taking two damage. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> oh, that's brutal. So that's, that's actually a... F a fine play. Yeah. Alex is draining the life, even if it's from his opponent's own lands. That's fine. That's another reason to play the deck. Dang. So I guess Joe just grew it. Okay. And also, Alex still just gains life because it has lifeline. Yep. Yeah, that's a fair wild slash, I'd say. Uh. So Joe does just... Does Joe not take damage from that, though? Shouldn't he be at 17? Uh. He tapped a mana confluence and one other land. Yeah, so... That's... Yeah, that's two damage. I would think Cause so. Because I think, yeah, he he also used the pain land. Yep. So I'm I'm guessing Joe just grew it because it didn't tap it down. Yeah. And then, yeah, just roast it. Alex gains five oh, off that roast. Jeez. I wonder if he accounted for it, though. It doesn't look like it. He he had to. Okay. Yeah, yeah and then there's yeah. going to be plus two here. Plus two more. Joe dropping down to 16. So yeah, Alex, yeah, Alex should be at 28. Five plus two from the correct from the attacks and the attack, but he's got himself at twenty six. So yeah, that's yeah. We'll respect the players' life totals. Get those updated there. Yeah, a uh, less than stellar drown and sorrow, but gets rid of. You got to get rid of that thing. Oh yeah, absolutely. Man, heaven forbid Alex gets to enough mana where he can start buying back removal spells <laughs> in the form of roast. Seems okay. Yeah. That's cool. Siege Rhino, it's gone. <laughs> I gained five. I get it back. <laughs> yeah, if I'm Joe, I think I just... Okay. You Joke's on you. I don't have any removal. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on you. Rhinos are all exiled. <laughs> oh. So let's see. I mean, Alex just firing it off here. What do we got? What's big? For, I mean, Alex's hand. Oh, it's either lands or interaction. Because, uh, rest assured, if he has any creatures in his hand, they're, does he have a, they're getting played. Does he have a dig-through time in here? Does he have a dig-through time in the main? Uh, it would have to be, yeah. Uh... Ooh, Papa Sirac. Oh, get stroked. Yep. That's fair. I think that's an okay stroke there, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, you don't, yeah. You don't want him to get enabled by playing a Siege Rhino or anything else. Right. Yeah, I don't like Siege Rhinos with haste. No. So I don't think anybody does. I think does. I'm countering that. Coincidentally, Sirac, another green card that just makes me... Both happy and mad, I guess. Yeah. Why can't we get a sweet, sweet blue Look. creature? <laughs> Reprint Aetherling. Oh. Aetherling, really? I like Not him. Morphling or... Mm. Oh, God! D see? T-Man gets it. There's a mm, freaking there's Urborg, Urborg under Joe's arm. Joe's got this thing where he, like, covers up the land that is on that side of the camera for us. Yeah. Oh, that Urborg, pretty important. Urborg, God, that yeah. makes Urborg is infuriating when you're trying to to get life totals in the back. Thank you for pointing yeah. that out. Just that is on Urborg. literally everything else. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, I'm not looking at the fact that Joe is covering up an Urborg. I mean, it's yeah, it's kind of hard to to know that that's an Urborg. <laughs> no, it could be a Temple of Malady. I didn't see what's going. on. Oh, Patriot Missile, baby! Uh oh, fire that bad boy off. Locked on. Joe's Can looking you... at the Abzan trying. I mean, that's not that's... gonna do anything. No, it'll. Yeah? Yeah, Abzan Charm can absolutely deal with this. Uh, I guess he's... Do I, not, do I not know the modes for Abzan Charm? Uh, I guess not, because he can exile a creature. Oh, I get... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> what? 
<laughs> Joe's gonna take one from the Ed's term. term. What, what? Power, power three or greater. Power three or greater. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought it was power four or greater. Oh, no. I, no, no. Abs and charm's good. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, oh, <laughs> nice. That's the difference. So here we go. Another cat demon entering the fray. Dude, these cat demons are everywhere. Oh, I know. Jeez. They come in packs. I love it. Packs of cat demons. They work on the buddy system. Jeez. Oh, Soulfire Grandmaster for Alex. So he's... consistent. <laughs> oh, just all these cat I know. And uh, cat demons and Urborgs and. Crazy. Uh, we're going to see a fight here from the Cat Demon to the Soulfire Grandmaster. Uh, I'm assuming this might get countered. That's interesting, because Joe is now letting him just die. Yep. Okay. That seems pretty god-awful. Alex is going to go up to 27. That is not the most gratifying Dramokas command. <laughs> that wasn't I see what all. he was trying to do there. It oh, was, yeah, it was yeah, admirable. Absolutely. It just wasn't going to get there. Not when not when your opponent has mana up though. Correct. Alex is just blowing people out oh. with with lightning strikes. And I then mean, comes ultimate price. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that'll do. That takes care of pretty much anything. Pat Alex passing the turn back to Mr. Joe Chot. Joe dropping a land. Passing to Alex. Joe's in Elspeth and Wingmate Rock range. He is. Like, where are they? This is when it could get big. You are correct. His creature is exiled due to Ebzan yeah. Charm. That, oh, yeah. is a, that is true. We've we've seen. I mean, uh, yeah, people are missing it. Right. That's people have missed. Uh, well, this is the first time for Ebzan Charm, but uh, people were missing Anafenza as well. I blame Joe Chot for playing <laughs> for, all for, these for playing Abzan. <laughs> Isn't uh, Evil Ben Sliwa in the house? He is. Hasn't reared his uh, his head in this match. No. Or, wow. No, he's flying under the radar. Two, believe, what was that? Was that two time or three time five O champion so, for uh So he five O'd two F and M's. Yep. Also uh like cleaned up a win a box. Yes, like he, he did, yeah. He drew top four, so I guess technically he was a draw, but like yeah. He, yep. Yeah. He was he was unbeatable he for was a while going, there. Yeah, he was insane. He was he was drunk with power. We couldn't stop him. Mm-hmm. I know Matt Dow wanted to uh, jump into Evanems and start trying to uh, start trying to reel him in. Oh yeah, <laughs> absolutely. He was, he was nuts. We're gonna get in a four here with the Anafenza. Boom! Drops Mr. Pressing down to twenty. Still, still above my starting <laughs> right. total. I mean, come at me in this aggro match. I think you're uh, happier to be Jess guy. Ooh, oh man, baby! Another missile. Hope you got removal. Fire it off. What do we got here? If you That's... do, you're spending. Mana very interestingly. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Urborg. We're fine. God, all black. Ur it, Urborg is honestly one of the worst cards to cast with. It just makes things very difficult. No, oh, it's... And oh, and we're just geez. going nuts on this guy. Yeah. Double. Got, gotta deal with it. The wild slashes are real. Alex, no... No hand. He is looking to his top decks. Yep. And this is kind of dangerous for Alex. Oh, uh, yeah. As a fleece main lion is here. Yeah, that's Joe. what that's what happens when you're. I mean, wild slash is interesting. Keep in game two. It is. It, it is really only game. deals with Rakshasa and Warden. Correct. And it it doesn't even effectively deal with those cards necessarily right. all the time. So. Oh. Oh. Patriot geez. missile off the top. That's. I mean, if we're racing right now, Alex is winning. That 4-4 four four will do little work against Alex's 22 life. Yeah, the yeah, clock I is mean, long. Joe's got a hand still, though, so I imagine he has something. Oh, he's... Uh, yeah. Bracket, you're not wrong, bud. He's been he's been throwing out wild slashes like they're going out of style. That is that is a for-sure thing. Oh, yeah. Mr. Pressig, a fan of his uh, quick burn decks. Well, yeah, I mean, he's playing them as he needs to. Yes. When he needs to. Uh, two for one in yourself, not ideal. But, but necessary but when you're staring down you the defense. Oh, yeah, it's going to do more work for you than getting poked for four every yes. turn. And now the clock has begun for Mr. Joe Chot. Is oh, that geez. a outpost siege? That's going to be on dragons, I assume. No. No, no. I'm sorry, on cons. Oh, yeah, yeah. God, I'm off you, today. You want... What is wrong with that's me? That's the second time you've wanted to, to dragons the outpost I've always wanted... I when I commentate wanted. with you. I always you love that you. mode. Dragons? Yeah. I do. I think it's sweet. I think that mode is really sweet. The first time you wanted it, it made a little more sense. The first time I wanted it, this we would have won. This one, you were just 
blind with I'm, I'm blind ambition. with yeah I'm I'm blind with N- dragon name ambition. dragons please name dragon <laughs> someone Mr. Mr. Pesic down to 15 here after the attack from the fleece main lion which is monstrous oh there you go oh baby that's one answer snap it off on the anafenza just here we go bye anafenza bye oh that'd be good too bracket bracket gets it clutch top deck Dramokus command here second enchantment fight oh yeah. Yeah, Ooh, you think? And a Stoke oh, the doesn't matter. Stoke gets you. Ouch. That leaves you at two. That leaves you at none. Yep. When you got a Manus Rider. Patriot Missile, baby. Still a deck. It's a good card. Yep. Gosh, Manus Rider. You just do not care, do you? He doesn't. Especially He also comes in packs. He does. He's just riders well, on apparently, riders. Apparently, according uh, as as Bracket has pointed out, Wild Slash also comes in packs of yeah, four. Well, yeah, apparently. And they're consistently burning things. So Man, I mean, I like shock with upside as much as the next guy. Always. So yeah, I'll run. I'll run four. Yeah. Again, I I don't know if I would have kept him in game two. It seems a little weird. Yeah. But although you know, Alex is Alex did bring in. I guess from what we could see. Yeah. Uh, the disdainful strokes. Sure. So. Yeah. So like, I guess you do have to like. You you're still a, a Jessica Agro deck. You still want to burn kids right. if you have no better option in your sideboard to bring in. Sure. Like he he has no other burn outside of like Arc Lightning mm-hmm. and Chandra and those. Yeah, we're not bringing those in. Yeah, that's true. Uh, oh. Or I guess Chandra, we're not bringing in to just burn your opponent out. <laughs> that was a pretty quick F and M, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. We blazed through that. I can't believe it. A lot of aggro decks. A lot of aggro decks. Yeah, we right saw Joe Chop play three times though, so it's true. Mean, he's, yeah, he's playing they, aggro. You know it's... what? Coincidentally, not not a huge FM. Only a four rounder tonight, so yep. it was pretty quick. Oh yeah. But I guess that ends the stream for us. Congratulations to Mr. Pressig for uh getting up there, baby. Yeah. Finally beating Abzan. God, that deck's hard to beat. Patriot Jeez. Missile. Jeez. Also Patriot good deck. Missile might be the answer, man. Yeah. That that honestly, you might have the right color combo there. Yeah, I mean red white was a powerhouse. Mm-hmm. Uh, now it just looks like the blue helps a little bit more. For sure. Rounds out the deck, gives it better quality. So Awesome. Yeah. Well, guys, thank you so much for tuning in tonight to Nerd.